Hey, I hope you're doing well. Now, in this video, we're gonna be talking about Elemental pop-ups and more importantly how you can build a custom close button So the problem that I've got at the moment while building this site is I have a custom icon here Which creates the pop-up now it's easy to link a pop-up within your elemental site So we're going to click this and you'll see that this navigation pops up in the form of a pop-up But where the problem lies is we've got this icon here Which we want to close and it doesn't close it because by default it gives you a cross or X icon in the top corner. So that is what we're using to close this pop-up. So what we wanna do is we wanna be able to click on this icon, we wanna remove this, and then we wanna be able to click on this to close this active pop-up. Okay, so from the WordPress dashboard, if we go over to templates and then pop-ups, uh, you'll see that we have our active pop-up here that's already created. If you haven't got one, then by all means, just add a new pop-up by adding a new template. And so I'm just going to go directly in to edit this. Cool. So here we have it. So this is our active pop-up. Now what's really cool is we can click on this cog icon. Now this is going to open up a bunch of additional settings which are directly related to the pop-up environment. So this then includes things about how do you change the width of it? How do you change the height? You can have it fit to content, you can have it fit to screen. So in this instance, this pop-up, we want it to fit the entire width and the entire height. Now here we have our custom icon. Now before we hook this up, I'm just gonna show you how you can remove this one here. And this is here by default. And now once we've clicked on the cog and we have our pop-up settings, you'll see that there is a close button section here. And by default, it's showing. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna click hide. And now you'll see in the top right-hand corner, that icon has disappeared. So there's currently no way to close this pop-up. Now, what we want to do is we want to add the functionality to this cross icon that's going to close the pop-up. So what we do is we click on it, and then under the link, we're just going to click on the dynamic tags option. And then in this list, we're going to scroll down and we're going to find pop-up. Here we go. And then click anywhere on pop-up or click the little uh, spanner icon. And you'll see that by default, it's asking us to choose a pop-up that we want to open. And that's just its default setting. So it's you know it's more common to select it's more it's more common to build a custom button to open a pop-up than it is to close it. But all we need to do is click on where it says open pop-up and choose close pop-up. And that is it. Like it's that easy. Now this icon should close our pop-up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click publish and then we're gonna come back to our site and let me just refresh. Cool, and then click show pop-up. Awesome, and you'll see that the cross has gone, and now if I click this one, boom. There we go. So there we, we now have a custom close button or icon for our Elemental website. Now if you're wondering how I've got this fade in, fade out animation, it's really easy to achieve. So we're gonna head back to our pop-up, and we're gonna click on the cog for the pop-up settings again. And if we just come down to entrance animation, you'll see that we have the option to select fade in down, fade in up. So by default, there is nothing. And you can choose a variety of things that you want to happen here. So in this instance, I'm just fading it in, coming down, and then when we close it, I want it to fade back up. So it almost looks like it's coming down, then up. So we choose the fade out up option there. You set the duration, so if you want it to be slightly slower, you just add additional seconds there, click publish. So there you go, really short. That's how you go about adding a custom close button to your Elemental pop-ups.